All right, Celine defeats Adrian today, uh, 57 to eight. What do you think of the way you guys played? I was really happy with our first half. You know, we talked to the team before the game just about, regardless of the opponent, getting better. Getting better than we were yesterday and better than we were a week ago. Uh, when I came in at halftime, I really felt we had done that. So, you know, pretty happy with the first half. And I told them at the end, we were just a little sloppy, you know, in the second half. And, you know, those things can happen in games like this. But, you know, we want to make sure we show up the areas that we weren't good in in the fourth quarter. Mm -hmm. um, how do, I, I kind of asked this last week, but how do you... You know, in games when you, you won last week, 61 to nothing, and this one you're up 55 nothing or something at halftime. Or at halftime, how do you how do you assess those things? Is it just things that coaches notice, or? Yeah, you know what we do is we say you know, we know there's a certain amount of young players that still have to get reps. So mm -hmm. you know, as much as we want to keep the score within reason, uh, we also have to play guys that need reps. So what we're doing is really looking at those guys and making sure they're growing as football players when it's their opportunity to play. Mm -hmm. And then as a as a head coach, I look at things like a snap over the head on the front, or you know, a, a guy's not in the right coverage at the end that allows them to score. We want to be perfect. We're never going to get there, but we still need to strive for it. That, those are the type of things we assess in the stuff. All right. I wanted to ask you a little bit about Colton uh, and and what he gives your team. Uh, I think he had three touchdown three touchdowns today. Uh, Tell me a little bit about him as a player and what he brings to the Celine Hornets. Well, you know, I mean, we ask a lot out of him. You know, obviously he did a great job on returns for us. You know, he does a great job as a receiver. But I thought probably what he was most happy with and what I was most happy happy with his ability to catch a deep ball, run, run by somebody. And we wanted to, you know, show that we were willing to throw a fade, and that was a big catch out of him. He gives us everything, toughness, great hands, um, you know, ability to, to run with the football and catch a football. He's a great leader for us. Right now. And he's so, he's, he fights for every yard out there, doesn't no he? question you know he, with his size he's going to get banged around and he gets beat up but you, you'd never know it he's so tough um it's hard to get him off the field you know you, li you like having wrestlers on this team oh uh, absolutely you know, they're <laughs> great deep you know i always said wrestlers are great d linemen for us but all of a sudden this year we got them in skill positions receiver yeah. and at running back so love wrestlers and what they bring to the program um two and one at this point what do you think of where the team is you know i i think what's hard for people to understand probably is we assess everything during the week with our week of practice and then what our performance is, again, regardless of the opponent. I am happy that I think over the past two weeks and probably this week in general, or probably more specifically, I felt we got better in practice, felt we got better offensively in particular. And that's what our goal has got to be. I told the team, we know what's looming later on in the schedule. So regardless of opponent right now, our goal has got to be to get better so we're ready for those, you know, those tough teams that we're going to have later on. So you're about to start the SEC red schedule. Um, homecoming night next week. Uh, I guess, was it Huron? Yes. And um, I guess what, what are your thoughts now as you begin the SEC red schedule? You guys want to win another SEC, obviously. No question. So, you know, we, we can't look past anybody. And like I said, it's really all about us at this point. We got the added distraction homecoming to deal with and a very much improved Huron team. You know, looking at them on film, they have some size, they have some speed. They're definitely a fo better football team than they were a year ago. So uh, they'll have our attention. And, uh, you know, if we take care of business and take care of us, I think we're on the right track. All right, thanks a lot, Joe. Okay, no problem. Thank you.